Let's take another look at, at infrastructural financing in Nigeria. Joining us on the program from our Bujo studios is Head Project Finance and Advisory Services, the Infrastructure Bank PLC, Mr. Ross Oluyedi. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Good now, afternoon. it goes without saying that good infrastructure is basic to the development of any society. Talk about roads, power and institutions such as hospitals, schools and more. Now, the question is, what is the role of the Infrastructure Bank in achieving this? Thank you. Uh, the Infrastructure Bank was uh, set up initially as the Urban Development Bank. That's what uh, evolved to becoming the Infrastructure Bank. Uh, the whole purpose of the bank essentially is to profile long-term solutions to infrastructure development in, in diverse areas uh, comprising transportation, uh, power and energy, uh, mass housing, municipal development. Uh, essentially, we go about doing all of these essentially through uh, developing, uh, preparing proje projects and making them financeable. Uh, to the point where it could attract the necessary requisite financing required to develop those projects. Now, speaking of long-term, infrastructure remains a major challenge in Nigeria. Are we really doing our best to change this narrative? Uh, at the moment, um, from the different studies carried out by either the government or the private sector, it is very clear that um, there's a huge funding gap uh, to get us to where we should be. Um, it is clear, uh, essentially, that annual budgetary provisions are not sufficient to provide the necessary infrastructure required. Uh, so it is important to find an alternative way of financing infrastructure development in Nigeria, which is why uh, the public-private partnership uh, initiative and drive has come to the fore in the last couple of years, essentially getting the private sector involved in bridging the gap that is, uh, that is inherent in our infrastructure development. So for that to happen, uh, for private sector money to come in, these projects themselves uh, have to be bankable, have to be uh, with the risks uh, significantly mitigated or, or minimized to ensure that it can attract the requisite uh, private sector cooperation in developing these projects. Now there's already talk of fast tracking this entire process. Obviously, the government and other stakeholders want to see a new Nigeria when we talk about infrastructure development. What are the other things we need to do, say, as, as government, stakeholders, and even the people? What do we need to do? Thank you. Essentially, I mean, we've got to go beyond the, the position of just talking. We've got to take uh, active steps in developing infrastructure in Nigeria. Uh, we've done different studies, uh, government, private sector in highlighting the different gaps at the different sectors. Uh, we need a lot of water. We have shortage of portable water. We don't have enough roads. We don't have the power supply is insufficient. Housing is a major problem. Uh, so how do we tackle all of this? Is to identify um, all these needs that we have and try to develop solutions around them. We may not have one umbrella solution. One thing is key, financing is key. However, everybody talks about financing, talk about money. It's not only money. You have to have projects that are financeable. Uh, there are some projects that are better handled by the government. There are some that are better handled uh, through a public-private pri partnership arrangement. Uh, so we, we've got to be able to identify this project and dimension them in a way to, be, to, to ensure that the person that is better able to bear certain risks bear such risks. In that, guys, it would be a lot easier for us to be able to uh, fast track uh, our infrastructure development. At the same time, we've got to look, look for the, um, the low hanging fruits and identify the ones we can quickly do. For instance, in the power sector, it's not just sufficient for us to have privatized, but we've got to go beyond that. Uh, there's the off grid solutions. There are so many other uh, solutions that are coming that are, that, are, that are useful to ensure, for instance, that rate of electrification is enhanced as opposed to everyone waiting for grid connection. Likewise, in terms of housing, we've got to develop product, uh, products around different subnational governments and see how we can help at, that, at those levels to make housing available to everybody. The federal government cannot do all of these things. Uh, the state government uh, by, its, by themselves cannot do all of these things because of the limitations of budget. So we've got to create an enabling environment, ensure that you know, we have a very sound um, regulatory framework where the private sector uh, feels very comfortable 
that whatever investments they have, they are adequately protected. Uh, that is very key in fast tracking Let me cut in there. development. In Let me cut in there. How many projects is your bank working on right now? Uh, we are working on a series of projects, cuts across uh, the different uh, sectors uh, in the spectrum infrastructure I mentioned earlier, uh, from road from, uh, to housing to power uh, to, to real estate, mass housing development, uh, to water, provision of water, uh, portable water, uh, and the reticulation infrastructure. Uh, we work across uh, uh, this entire spectrum and we have a, a series of projects, both uh, the ones that are at the point of uh, being financed and those that are still at uh, preliminary stages that have been developed. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, one of the things we do is to ensure to work with project sponsors, project developers, be it private sector or public sector, to develop projects that are financeable. Uh, finances will always, uh, financing will always come, whether it is offshore or local. Uh, so uh, most of our projects are at preliminary stages. We are working to ensure that these projects become bankable. Thank you very much for speaking with us on the program. I have been speaking with Mr. Ross Oluyede, Head Project Finance and Advisory Services, the Infrastructure Bank, PLC.